Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee. Adam Schick with Amanda Butler at Memorial Gym. Florida gets a huge, huge victory over the Commodores. Not easy to win on the road, not easy to win on senior night. How'd you do it? I, you know, it was it was just a collective effort. Um, you know, it, it, it kind of sound like a broken record. And when we've had these great wins this year, it's always just been you can't point your finger on just one thing. Uh, you know, Jatera's leadership, Lily had a timely three, Jan had a timely three, Carly's free throws. You know, Ronnie had spurts where she played like a woman. Kayla got huge rebounds. You know, you can just go on down the line. Um, you know, it was just a, a great team win. And our team played with a great deal of, of urgency, and, you know, in a positive way. Uh, never, never desperate, never panicked, a lot of confidence, and just a whole lot of heart. To get this win here at the tail end of the season, how much confidence does this give you now to finish out strong going back home? I, you know, our players have a, a really good understanding of not only how important it was to win, but to beat Vanderbilt and to be able to do it here. I think it, you know, really instills uh, an extra little level of, uh, you know, confidence going into that last ball game at, at A&M and it, with A&M and it being at home and, um, you know, and I think also just the chance to honor two really, really special women. Uh, you know, our, our team's going to be up for the task. Congratulations. Thank you. Joined now by sophomore Carly Needles and Carly. I don't know if you know this, but the last time you shot a free throw was on January 30th. Wow. <laughs> You're going to the line, yeah. game on the line, one possession. What's going through your head? You know, I just wanted to make the free throws for my team. And coming into this game, we really wanted it. We really wanted to beat Vandy at Vandy because this is a unique place to play. And I really, and honestly, I, I wasn't really thinking much other than I'm going to make these free throws. We're going to get back on defense and we're going to, you know, get a stop and we're going to win this game. And I was just glad that I had the opportunity to have the ball in my hands and uh, have the confidence that I did. Because we talk about that all the time. You know, you got to have the confidence that you're going to make the free throws. And I honestly did it. I just I wasn't thinking anything, and I'm glad that I hit them. You mentioned the challenges of playing here. It's your first time playing on this court. How did you and your teammates overcome the uniqueness, the strangeness of this court? Communication. I mean, having the bench on the other side of the court is really is really tough. Butler is always playing, uh, calling plays for us, but she also trusts us to call our own plays. So that helped us out a lot. And, I was just really proud of the way we communicated tonight because all season that's been our downfall is we haven't really communicated as well. And so I felt like we did a really good job with that tonight and obviously it helped us come out with a win. Congratulations. Thank you. Joined now by senior Jatera Bonds, or Mayor Bonds as some like to call her. And the mayor presided over a big win tonight. Talk about getting this victory on the road, all that's at stake here tonight. Well, you know, road wins always count double and win a three-way tie with them and um, in LSU, so this is a big win for us to put them on top of them um, in the SEC standing, so give us a good positioning for the SEC tournament. So this is a big win. You built that big lead in the first half. Talk about what you did to build that big cushion, what was working offensively. We were just attacking and painting and getting paint scores and taking the shots that we that we take all the time, and we was knocking them out. We was getting good in. We was running the ball, pushing, getting up in transition, and just making plays, getting and ones, and just staying hype and excited, but at the same time still focused on the goal to, to stay up and to maintain that lead. Then when Vanderbilt came back in the second half, how did that change things, or how did things stay the same on the bench and on the court? Um, we just had to stay together. You know, adversity going to come in every game. They're going to make their runs, and we're going to make our runs, but you got to stay together and play team defense. And we know who they're going to gonna go to at any game, Foggy and Lister. Foggy was hot. So we limited us to about five, seven points in the second half. We knew they were going to go to her, so we had to make sure that we made somebody else take the shot. You're going home now for senior day. Talk about your emotions on the verge of your last game in the O-Dome. Well, you know, I don't want my emotions to get the best of me. I don't want to be too high. I want to be too low. I just want to be level, even kill how I've been all season. So it's going to be an emotional tonight, but I'm, I'm just trying to stay ready and have the same focus and lead my team to another win. Congrats, JT. Thank you. 73-68, the final here in Nashville. Florida gets a huge victory as they try and build their resume toward the NCAA tournament. That road will continue on Sunday in the Odom Senior Day. Florida will honor Jatera Bonds and Lily Savetti as they try and continue the momentum and get a win over Texas A&M. That game will come your way at 1 o'clock Eastern time. You can join myself and Brittany Davis on the Gator IMG Sports Network starting at 1245, or you can watch the game on TV. Make sure to check GatorZone.com for those listings. But for tonight, a huge win. Florida goes home happy. I'm Adam Schick. Good night from Nashville.